Nuka was the silliest thing you've ever done in a con. Oh no. Um, I almost broke my arms at a con. <laughs> That's probably the silliest thing I've ever done. And I almost did it twice. I almost broke my arms twice at a con. <laughs> So, I got two stories where I almost broke my arms at a furry con, okay? So, um, the very first convention I ever, ever went to, okay, um, was with Wild, okay? So, back when I wasn't, like, super into the furry fandom, okay, um, I decided, you know what, to... I'm pretty cool with just being in a furry discord group. I don't want to explore too much. I don't want to get on Twitter I don't really want to get on FA. I'm just okay with being in a furry discord group And that's as far as furry's gonna take it. Okay, and then this guy in the furry discord group His name was Cammy and he was just like hey Jack. I'm like yeah, I bought you a ticket to um, the TFF I bought you your registration. I bought the hotel room. All you have to do is fly here. You're coming bitch I'm like, oh well, I guess I'm going to a furry convention. <laughs> so um, me and uh, my girlfriend at the time, Senny, we get plane tickets and we fly down uh, to TFF, okay? My first con ever, okay? We land, we arrive, we get picked up in a vehicle, we get driven to the room, fantastic. Um, we go out that night, we go to the con and we're having like a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun, okay? We stay up late, we drink a little bit, some of that. Absolutely great, uh, great experience so far, right? The next morning, I wake up and I wake up at like 5 a.m. because at my work at the time, I was waking up really fucking early, okay? And everybody else in the, the um, apartment, like in the uh, hotel room, and there was like eight of us in this hotel room, they were all dead asleep and I wanted to go to the con. So I pick up my girlfriend at the time and I throw her on Wild and like uh, she like like elbow drops onto the bed, stuff like that with Wild and his boyfriend at the time. And uh, whatchamacallit? <laughs> yes, and he drank, Vex. Yes, and he drank. Um, what do you call it? Amori and this like other guy like wake up and stuff. Like we wake up the whole room and they're all like dead. They're all like groggy. They're like, oh, we don't want to get up. And me and Sandy are just like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, right? So I get them out of the the fucking um, what you call it, um, apartment, and we start going to the con at like 7 a.m. Um, in the morning, okay? And I am all amped. So like I'm jogging. There's a first suitor at the crosswalk. We say hi to him. We all get a group picture with him, and then uh, we go across the crosswalk. And between us and the hotel. There's this massive area where transports would deliver like goods and services to the hotel, right? And the rest of them are walking at normal pace. I'm amped. So I'm jogging backwards. I'm like, come on, guys. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm jogging backwards, right? And between me and the hotel, there's a single traffic cone, okay, that I did not see. And between uh, my friends and me, I'm in the perfect position that they cannot see the traffic cone. This traffic cone is like fucking high it's like halfway up my back high it's a huge ass traffic cone but just the perfect orientation between me and uh, like uh, um the traffic cone and everything else they couldn't see it all right so i'm uh, running backwards being like come on little slow pokes let's go let's go let's go let's go and then all of a sudden all of a sudden uh, the rest of them they see the traffic cone behind me they're like no and I'm like, what? What's going on? <laughs> like, I just fucking flip, okay? I literally flip over the goddamn traffic cone and I go to brake fall, but I brake fall on goddamn like asphalt. And as I hit, I feel the force go right through like both of my forearms. And for like the next five days, like my forearms, like down to the bone were like sore. And I'm in the United States, I'm Canadian. I'm like, oh fuck, did I just break my arms? Did I just like fracture my arm stuff like that? Like I was kind of like internally freaking out. I'm like, okay, okay. I can move my hands. Everything still works. We will last until we get back to Canada. And then I can go to the hospital in Canada and everything will be fine. Go to hospital in Canada. Got it. Um, what you call it? Um, x-rays, no fractures, no nothing. It was just bruised bones, stuff like that. But oh, it hurt. It hurt the entire con, uh, like j like just down the forearms or both arms, stuff like that. Now, the next time I broke, almost broke my arms at a con, was also at TFF. For whatever reason, I keep almost breaking my arms at TFF. Okay, it was the year I got the first my first suit. It was back in 2020, uh, 20, and it was the last con to ever happen. I go down to the con. I get my first suit, and once again, I'm just in high energy. I'm just like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, I'm just super high and energetic, right? Notice a trend. TFF plus high energy jig equals broken fucking arms, okay? 
so uh, um, we go to like a fursuit play area where there's like props and there's like a whole bunch of stuff like that and, like just like stuff uh, to like play around with right and there's this macro section uh, section okay where you can build like buildings and stuff like that like uh, so you can pretend to be macro like you can push the building there's cars stuff like that right so I'm going through there and like they're filming and we're doing this thing and then all of a sudden I decide I decide pile drive I decide to do one of these just boom but what I didn't realize was what I was piling driving onto was not soft in fact it was like hardwood on top of concrete so like when I slammed down on it I just felt the force like distribute all inside my elbow all inside my thing and it just it hurt it hurt hard and I, I I went I as an actor I went through the pain and just like it like uh, did the rest of the scene but I'm just like ow oh and wild he was there at the time and he walked up to me he's just like hey you probably shouldn't do that you're probably gonna get yourself hurt and I'm just like yeah I know ow he's like you fucking idiot so once again, I waited till I got back to Canada to check it in on myself. Once again, no fractured bones or anything, just bruising. I'm just like, ow, okay, no more Jick in the playroom. <laughs> That's my Jick's handler. I know when he's gonna go over the overboard and do stupid stuff. Yeah, yeah, Vex. I mean, like, uh, I was I was doing film. Like they were doing uh, videos of me, so I was like uh, holding on to the character, like uh, holding on to the motion stuff like that. We were doing like some macro stuff. Macro means to like pretend to be giant. First time I wore my suit, uh, I walked into so many pillars and cons. Oh, dude. Okay, okay. Speaking about walking into pillars and cons, if you guys have never been to MFF, they have this hallway. Okay, it's the connection hallway between the event centers and all the hotels. It's actually really, really convenient. Except it's hot as fuck. They have so many of these heaters, and like if you're just a normal person walking around, going from the outside inside, you love it because it's nice and warm there. But as a fur suitor, it's hecking deadly. Also, as a fursuiter, it's hecking deadly because when you're like walking, the the heaters are at this height. They're like right at this height, so they are completely invisible to you. Okay, they are completely invisible to you, and the perfect shot size to cross you, like the perfect perfect crotch size to shoot you in the dick.